Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do these awesome leopard studded nails and what you'll need are your base coat, Essie's in the cabana, hot as hello, and a matte top coat. And the nail art supplies you'll need are tiny 2mm studs, which I got at bornprettystore.com, toothpicks, black acrylic paint, or black polish. It's up to you what you want to use. And you're going to start off with the base color Coral Hot as Hello on your pointer and pinky fingers and in the cabana on your thumb and you're gonna do the half painted nail just by getting your brush and simply painting half your nail with it. And if you mess up you could just take a stiff brush dip in an acetone and then clean around your cuticle to get the polish that you got on your finger. Once your first coat has dried, you're going to then add your second color. And when you add your first coat, the lines don't have to be perfect because you are going to go and fix the lines later. Once your first coat of each color has dried, you can then go ahead and put the second coat and that's when you start perfecting the line. For the white leopard spots, you can use white polish or white acrylic paint and I use the dotting tool to put the spots on and I usually do it in a dice pattern of five. So one dot in the middle on top and two on the bottom. Now using your black polish or your black acrylic paint, you're going to put a dot on aluminum foil and you're going to take your toothpick or detailed brush and do this, the lines around your leopard spots and I do them in half circles or C shapes. I also alternate directions so that you don't get the same exact pattern every time. Um, and then once you're done with all the C's around your spots, you're going to add dots and half circles all on the empty spots just to give it more of a leopard spotted look. After every finger, make sure you wipe the toothpick clean on a makeup sponge or on a cotton or on a paper towel just so it doesn't get clumpy at the end of the toothpick. Once you're done drawing on the leopard spots, you can put your matte top coat on after the black has dried because if not, it will smear. And once you're done with your matte coat and it's dried completely, you can add your studs. I got these studs at www.bornprettystore.com and they're the two millimeter gold studs. They're really easy to use and if you use my code GYL91 at checkout, you'll get 10% off and they also offer free worldwide shipping and they have everything from studs to chains to everything you think you can think of and to apply them I use nail art glue from Sally's beauty supply store you can also get some from any beauty supply store but I put it along the middle of my fingernail once the matte top coat has dried and I put 
top coat on the tin foil and with the toothpick I dip it first into the top coat and then on the stud and then I push down on the stud once I place it on my nail just to keep it in place and with the nail art glue it lasts a lot longer than with the top coat and if you want it for a few days this will work perfectly. Once you've added the studs, you're done with this look. And if you don't like these colors, you can also use nude and pink or any other color combination. If you try out this look, I would love to see it. Hashtag your picture on Instagram with Mod Nails and I will take a look at it. And also, be sure to check out my website, mod-nails.com for more information on all my looks and all my social media websites. And for all your nail art supply needs, visit bornprettystore.com and use my code for 10% off at checkout. And as always, thank you for watching. I love all of you.